India's third lunar mission set for launch on Friday is loaded with more fuel, a slew of safety measures and a bigger landing site with ISRO saying it has opted for a failure-based design for the second attempt to ensure that the rover successfully lands on the moon, even if some things go wrong, reports PTI. Chandrayaan-3, set for liftoff at 2.35 p.m. on July 14th, will be a follow-up mission after the crash landing of Chandrayaan-2 in September 2019 due to a software glitch. Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO Chairman S. Somanath on Monday said instead of a success-based design in Chandrayaan-2, the space agency opted for a failure-based design in Chandrayaan-3 focused on what all can fail and how to protect it and ensure a successful landing. We looked at very many failures, sensor failure, engine failure, algorithm failure, calculation failure. So whatever the failure, we want it to land at the required speed and rate. So there are different failure scenarios calculated and programmed inside, he said. The ISO chief shared minute details about what went wrong with the Vikram lander of Chandrayaan-2 as it went hurtling down towards the identified 500M into 500M landing spot on the lunar surface with the engines designed to reduce its velocity, developing higher thrust than expected. The primary issues were, one, we had five engines which were used to give the reduction of the velocity, which is called the retardation. These engines developed higher thrust than what was expected. He told reporters in New Delhi on the sidelines of India Space Congress organized by SIA India. Somnath said that when such a higher thrust was happening, the errors on account of this differential were accumulated over some period. He said the third reason for failure was the small 500M into 500M site identified for landing the spacecraft. The craft was trying to reach there by increasing the velocity. It was almost close to the ground and kept on increasing the velocity. In nutshell, the problem in Chandrayaan 2 was that the ability to handle parameter dispersion was very limited, he said. This time we expanded the area of landing from 500m into 500m to 4 kilometers by 2.5 kilometers. It can land anywhere, so it doesn't limit you to target a specific point. It will target a specific point only in nominal conditions. So, if the performance is poor, it can land anywhere within that area, Mr. Subnath said. He said the Chandrayaan-3 also has more fuel, so it has more capability to travel or handle dispersion or move to an alternate landing site. He said the Vikram lander now has additional solar panels on other surfaces to ensure that it generates power no matter how it lands. The spacecraft was also tested for the ability to withstand vibrations by flying it over different terrains using a helicopter, while cranes were used to test the landing process, he said. News Desk, Global.